Hello everyone, Lorenzo here from RVT. In this video we're gonna be showing you what uh, I was supposed to be showing you when I went to go get my bees, but uh, you know, due to the fact that I've been working bit and been busy and uh, I actually, I was rushing to get these bees picked up. Um, I, I actually took off Thursday. Um, my son, my, my wife, and my son's girlfriend actually helped me out uh, trying to get everything straightened out um, to get my bees uh, Friday uh, Thursday didn't even get it done you know I still have some frames to make so on my way to pick up my bees I was like so freaking worried uh, it's like I still had to make frames bees are not done I still had to paint the hives I mean, and I still had to make the, the legs for the hives, the, where I'm going to put the stands. But well, for the, the stands for the hives, sorry. And so I was like, you know, worried all the way down to uh, pick up my bees. And then when I, get to, when I got to the place where I got the bees, I, I started searching on Facebook market. And then I found this guy that, sell, that was selling uh, Layens hives with frames so I thought you know you know I might give it a shot you know I have nothing to lose I'm gonna contact this guy and see if he even responds you know sometimes I send messages on Facebook market and I don't even get response until like maybe like the next day or so but I was I was lucky that the guy actually answered uh, and they I asked him you know if there's any way he can sell me some some frames if he's got any extra extra frames that he can sell me he said that he, he told me that he usually doesn't have any frames to sell, but he usually just sells the, the set, you know. But he said that he had extra. He also, on the post, he described that, you know, that he needed time to build the, the highest ones to pay for it. So I figured the frames included that, you know, that he, he needed to build the frames too. But fortunately, he had some extra ones that were used. So I got 10 of them from him on the way back from picking up the bees uh, on a, another town. So it's like, oh, he's, you know, that's on my way back. So I might, might as well get them. But long story short, got back, started, you know, prepping everything up. And finally <laughs> got here, started, you know, mowing the just on the area because you know as you can see the grass is like freaking tall over here I don't know if you can tell in the video but uh, that's like the ground area and then uh, it's hard it's hard to tell but anyways finally you know I got here mo here little little trail right here and here are the hives that's a new uh, addition to my uh, to my hives here. Now I took care of that like a little while ago. Uh, it was like nighttime. It's like you know what? I cannot do anything in my shop. You know, since it's dark in there, I'm gonna go ahead and take this inside. So I took the front of that, and I actually painted that myself right there. As you can see, it's like a big uh, bee on there with a some sort of flower there. <laughs> And uh, my son and my son's girlfriend painted this one right here. Now I've been messing with the bees because I actually got done just now. As I was, you know, I said, you know what, I'm going to go ahead and shoot a video right now. You know, explain everything, what's going on before I get too far out. And um, I bought that comb from... Uh, uh, from right here, I'm, uh, I can't remember the name of the store, but I, I got it from right here. And it's already drawn out comb. It's like this, they make it, you know, not out of honey, honeycomb. I guess I, some kind of manufacturing process they do. And I just got done putting this on right now. And that was the last thing I did besides the, uh, the chains. So before I headed out, you know, I'm gonna, I thought, you know, I'm going to go ahead and uh, shoot the video and... Give them an update 
Let's see what's going on here. I'm gonna show you a quick peek in there. A lot of the bees died on the way here. And see, they're still trying to get all the uh, dead bees out. There was actually a pile right there where I dumped the bees because at first I was planning of just setting the the package there lift that up a little bit so they can go in there and then so I can just leave the dead bees in there but due to the fact that it was getting darker on me and I was like man I need to get these girls in there so I just dumped everything in there and then I didn't realize how many bees there were in there it was like about half of them half of the package was in there so I was just like oh shoot so today that's what I was doing earlier today too uh, trying to uh, you know try to scoop a bunch of the bees out um, I got another jar there the one over there that I've actually put in there lock this up the ones over here Holy crap, they scooted every, everything out right there because that, that was actually cleaned out. But anyways, the jar that, we put, that I put on there, because I just put that together too the same day that I brought the bees. Um, and then I just put those cans in there because I realized that there was a, a jar that was broken on the top. It was cracked. So all the, uh, I guess it was getting air in there. That it was just draining nonstop. And as you can see, it drained through here. And then we have some bees down there still trying to suck up the remnants of the, of the juices. <laughs> Uh-oh, these bees stay behind. I'm not, I'm not wearing a, be, a veal or anything. I, I mean the, the hat, so I hope I don't get stung on my face. <laughs> Anyways. Um, they, yeah, they've been working on getting all the dead bees out. You know, I try to help them out today. See, as you can see right there. Um, I checked the, uh, the pack, the, uh, the bees in there. I mean, the queen. Just now, earlier, like about five minutes ago. I wasn't going to record any of this. I said, no, nah, screw it. You know, I need to get this done. Running out of sunlight here. But I was able to get some, some light. See, as you can see, they went in there. They took the candy out, and there's like a couple of bees in there dead, but they took them out, and they already started building comb on there when I took it out, but there was, it was actually open too. I didn't look for the queen, I just took this out, and I said screw it, you know, uh, tomorrow, uh, later on, like maybe this weekend, I'm gonna give, them, I'm gonna give the queen some time to to see if she lays any eggs and then that's that's how I'm gonna figure out whether she's uh, in there or not uh, if there's no queen in there my plan is to grab a frame from with eggs uh, from my other hive that's actually over there somewhere on the other side and uh, bring it over here put it in there so they can make a queen cup since it's still early you know it's, it's still spring it's early in the season so it will be a good time for them to actually put a queen in there um but that's what's going on and hopefully that hopefully the queen is in there because you know they did get her out and there are bees in there too uh when i looked on the on the frames earlier i just wish i could have you know recorded but I was just in a hurry you know it's like trying to get this done um, I still had to bring over here and I bought some little train for the corner right here I still have to do that and uh, hopefully you know she's 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 still alive on both packages on both hives but we'll see you know only time we tell here <laughs> um, so again you know I'm gonna come back this weekend uh, and I'm actually gonna take a look in there and record all that and um, 
I'm not gonna, like I say, I'm not gonna look for the queen. I'm just gonna try to see if I can see any eggs in there. To see if she's laying eggs in there. To see if I see any larva or anything like that. And take it from there. But this is gonna be a quick video. Uh, just to give you give you guys a, and ladies an update on these new hives that I just built. And I just threw it together. You know, they don't have the same kind of love as I did on the first hive. Or the first hive that I built because... Uh, you know, I took my time on that one since they were in a trap. I just on the other one, I just put the trap in the um, I just put the trap in um, on the same spot that I was gonna put the hive on. But I man, I cannot get over how how nice this hive looks, you know, with the painting on the front. Both of those hives are here, and uh, see, that's my. That's my son's initials right there, and my uh, son's girlfriend right there. They both got it on here, and they both started painting this awesome painting right here. So shout out to both of those, both of them. <laughs> All right, well, uh, this is gonna be it for this video. Um, just make sure you like and subscribe. I really need your subscription here. You know, I really trying to get to 1,000 subscribers, and. Uh, I would really appreciate it if you subscribe to, to my channel down below and um, thank you for watching and make sure you follow me on Instagram I usually put pictures on there before YouTube and uh, if you want to take a sneak peek before YouTube then you go to my Instagram account um, follow me there and that's it thank you for watching